the 5 o'clock National Hurricane Center update has finally put out their new info, and they are now finally on board that Delta is projected to be a major hurricane as it enters the Gulf. We are just four miles an hour away from Delta becoming a Category 1 storm as this storm is already rapidly intensifying and will continue to do so as it shoots through the water gap between Cuba and Cancun, Mexico, which both are now clearly under hurricane warnings at this hour. So it's safe to say we will have a lot of eyes following this storm from this point forward. I've had a few people ask me about Tropical Storm Gamma, which is actually now back down, downgraded to a tropical depression. If you look below this grouping of storms right here, a lot of people think that this is the storm right here, Gamma. It's actually way down here, much closer to Cancun. You can see the center of rotation right there. And this storm is actually dying out now and is going to curl over that eastern hook of Mexico that comes into the eastern part of the Gulf, being that this would be the western. And eventually, as we look at these charts here, Delta will probably consume Gamma as we look at that Fujiwara effect. This will more than likely not be the reason that Delta strengthens. Delta is going to strengthen all on its own due to rapid intensification, but the smaller of the two storms will dissipate and we will be left with Delta as a major hurricane in the Gulf. It's looking like between early morning Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon, so about 2 p.m. Wednesday, we should see Delta right about in the same area that we see Gamma right now, but with much different wind shear and different atmosphere conditions going on, which is why Delta is going to make its way to land somewhere within the cone of uncertainty, which literally covers the eastern part of Texas all the way to the panhandle of Florida. And it will be by this point, if not sooner, it is possible that we may get these warnings and stuff before we even get to the water gap, but we are going to start seeing, mark my words, hurricane watches, tropical storm watches, all that type of stuff we've been dealing with all summer long along the coast of the Gulf. We're going to keep this update short and sweet as tomorrow will bring a lot more new info and much more important info as we get into the Gulf of Mexico and then we really need to start honing down and figuring out who's going to get hit, who needs to prepare, and things of that nature. Last but not least, it seems like every time I look at this model intensity guidance chart, more and more plots are shooting straight up to that high category 3, possibly category 4 range, which in all reality is going to really not make that much of a difference. A uh, major hurricane is a major hurricane. It's devastating. And it's going to displace a lot of people, and we do not want that, so we want to inform as many as we can. We should be better safe than sorry in these times. My friends, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have not already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Every little bit helps, and I enjoy putting this content out to you, especially those of you who have been subbed. Please check that bell icon and make sure you get your notifications as we put out videos almost on a daily basis, especially during times like this. Please stay safe, and I'll see you all on the flip side.